Hey everyone, today we're going to do this video with flair. Oh yes, fancy buttons, jazz hands, and uh, <laughs> uh, not really that kind of flair. We're talking about lens flare and lens ghosting, what they are, why they occur, and how to prevent them. Well, in a nutshell, flare and ghosting are undesirable elements of lens performance caused when stray light passes through the lens and to the image media in ways that aren't preferential from a technical standpoint. That means that light gets where it shouldn't and messes up your image. Flare, according to reference A in this video's description, Flare occurs when a lens is directed at a strong light source like the sun. Helpful. This results in unneeded light. The light rays that enter the lens but are not focused on the image area to reflect from the lens surface and the camera's mirror frame. This results in unneeded light. That's the light that enters the lens but isn't focused on the image area to reflect from the lens surfaces and on the camera mirror's frame. And that has an effect like covering the image in a blanket made of haze. This results in contrast loss and, as you likely know already, contrast and sharpness are interconnected like the tentacles of a dizzy octopus. Basically, flare causes a white or lighter toned area over some or all of the image and that re area reduces contrast and sharpness. According to reference B in the description, Veiling flare occurs when light reflects off the lens or other elements such as the lens barrel and mirror box, making part or all of an image appear soft or hazy. So in the first example, flare could be localized, and in the second, it's going to be over much, if not all, of the entire image. So flare has many places where it can start. The element's optical surfaces, the element's ground edges, the lens housing, the aperture, the lens mount, the shutter box, the underside of the mirror, the bellows in a large format camera, and especially your SLR to mirrorless adapters and so forth. These are all different places where flare can start. Basically, any surface between the image media and the lens's front surface can cause flare under the right circumstances. Ghosting is what happens when that hot date last weekend leaves you on red. It's also the presence of colored shapes and rainbows in your images. Ghosting is a type of flare in that it has the same cause, but it manifests in a much different way. So according to reference A in the video's description, the phenomenon known as ghosting occurs when light repeatedly reflects off the surface of the lens and is seen in the image. Reflections occurring in front of and behind the lens aperture give the ghost the same shape as the aperture which means that when the ghost has the aperture shape or is a circle, generally because the lens was wide open, that the ghost is caused by stray, unneeded light passing through and interacting with the aperture. Reference B adds this. Also known as ghosting flare, this is caused by a strong light source being reflected repeatedly. It appears as a clear artifact that is usually located symmetrically opposite to the light source, so we can infer from this that the number of reflections in the ghost corresponds to the number of optical surfaces interfering with the stray light. Coated lenses and different element shapes can reduce ghosting by reflecting stray light away. Here are a series of tips that can help you reduce or eliminate flare and ghosts in your images. Keep bright lights out of the peripheries of your images and also from resting just outside the frame. Both places can cause these issues. This requires you to move around a bit, or recompose your subject at least. Use a lens hood. With primes, a pedal lens hood designed for the specific focal length is just as good as a tube. A generic pedal or one not designed for the focal length is worse than a tube. Lens hoods can allow you more flexibility in working in full sun or with strong source points like overhead lights. Likewise, Lenses with deep-set front elements, and most of these are vintage lenses, by the way, have lens housings that work kind of like built-in hoods. With a zoom, or if you have multiple primes, try a longer focal length lens, as a tighter focal length can eliminate the problematic light source and the way that it interacts with your lens. 
also keep your lens clean. Dust, dirt, smears, and grease can exacerbate flare and ghosting. Buy multi-coated lenses. Now, all lenses made today are multi-coated. In fact, today's coatings are super advanced. But if you're looking at vintage lenses to use, uncoated and single-coated lenses do result in more flare than newer lenses. Buy lenses with fewer elements. Fewer elements means fewer surfaces for internal reflections. This is one reason that I always include the lens diagram in my round glass review videos, by the way. So if you're looking at a 50 millimeter lens and can choose between two of the same age and one has nine elements and one has six, all other things between those two lenses being equal, the latter example likely has slightly better flare and ghosting resistance. The last tip is this, embrace it. Sometimes flares wash out in softness and ghosts, rainbows, and shapes can add an artistic element, especially in portraits or subject photos.